Woodman here. Wanted to talk to you today about humiliation rituals, a story that keeps coming up again and again. We know the story of Shanquilla Robinson and the issues of secret societies and humiliation rituals touch on very complex, sensitive topics. Let's try to go through this uh, in a very brief, short fashion. Shanquilla Robinson's story. Shaquilla Robinson was a young American woman who died under mysterious and troubling circumstances in October of 2022 while on vacation in Mexico. Her death initially appeared to be from natural causes, but as investigations progressed, it became clear that there were significant issues surrounding her death, including allegations of violence and a great cover-up. The case gained widespread attention and many people were disturbed by the details that emerged, including claims of a violent altercation with individuals that were supposedly friends. Humiliation rituals. Humiliation rituals generally refer to practices or ceremonies that involve some sort of uh, public shaming or degrading behavior. These are sometimes associated with certain secret societies or clandestine groups where initiation or membership might involve such kinds of rituals. However, there's no solid evidence linking Shanquilla Robinson's case to any specific ritualistic practices, but nonetheless, this is something that is contemporaneously going on in the world around us, that these humiliation rituals are actually quite common and are something to be feared and watched out for. Secret societies. Secret societies are often associated with various theories and speculations, especially when there's a lack of clear information. They might be imagined to engage in hidden or exclusive activities, including bizarre or extreme rituals. While such societies do exist in various forms, for example, uh, maybe certain types of uh, groups, covens, um, um, cartels, clubs, organizations with secretive elements, Linking them directly to Shanquilla Robinson's case without any concrete evidence would be entirely speculative at this point. Nonetheless, that doesn't mean you shouldn't watch out for them. In summary, while the Shanquilla Robinson case is indeed disturbing and raises many questions about the circumstances of her death, the links to secret societies and humiliation rituals are not something we can just immediately say that is going on here. But nonetheless, that doesn't mean you shouldn't be watching out for those things. Um, even if they're not substantiated by evidence, you know, the things you know can still very much hurt you. Keep that in mind. And there's a lot of elements of justice and accountability that need to be addressed and they need to be approached with care and focused on the facts as they emerge. Think about this. Sometimes in these secret societies, it may become necessary at some point for members to want to either gain rank or status or even gain initiation altogether. And so they may be called on to sacrifice. They may say, look, if you want to get in, you're going to have to take someone who uh, you have in a very vulnerable state. Maybe there's a great deal of care this person has for you, and we can get them out to some sort of a location, either secluded in the woods or maybe somewhere internationally on a trip or something where they're not near you know, places where they can get immediate help. And then, of course, things can happen. And it becomes the word of the one against the word of the many. And particularly if it ends in the death of the one, well, then all you really have left is the word of the many. The police can do their investigation. They can try to figure out what happened. But as long as everybody in the secret society keeps mum and they don't turn on each other, it would become very hard to actually prove what really went down. And, you know, sometimes this is done in, in terms of gangs as well, maybe certain street gangs. You know, they may say, that if you want to join our gang, you're going to have to do this, this, and this. You know, and it just seems almost callous and calculated and just absolutely horrific to do these kinds of cruel things to another human being. But we don't live in a perfect society. In fact, we live far from a perfect society. The reality is, is sometimes we don't know who we're dealing with. We may be dealing with people that we think are our friends, are our lovers, are our colleagues, are our associates, are our allies, and yet it turns out 
we never really knew these people at all. And they had a underlying objective and they were perfectly prepared to sacrifice a person maybe because they were hungering for power, maybe they were hungering for wealth, maybe they were hungering for status, maybe they were hungering for rank or admission to a certain inner circle. Whatever the case may be, we know that this person at that point has a moral issue and instead of addressing the moral issue with integrity, they go ahead and they give in to the corruption. And then at that point, you know, what could happen from there? Particularly when you have a group that maybe they've got some sort of a bully mentality going on, right? Maybe something happens between a member of the group and someone else that has gotten blown out of proportion. You know, originally it started as A, but by the time, you know, uh, uh, several months roll around, a year rolls around, several years roll around, all of a sudden it's become blown out of proportion. It's a lot larger than it ever actually was, and the group now is conspiring that they're like you know what um you know this person you know is 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 probably you know you don't know what's going to happen maybe later on they might reveal to other people that we were cruel nasty people and we we had lots of issues so maybe we need to get ahead of the story before they get the scoop on us and so they might turn around and get someone in a compromising position try to invite them on a boat trip try to invite them on a trip out of the country, try to get them plied with drugs and alcohol and all sorts of things. And before you know it, once they're vulnerable, you know, they will then attack them with certain emotional issues, certain emotional triggers, see if they can get this person to freak out or become sad or become angry. And then that person might react badly. And then they've got their video going, right? Because you know, one of the things they want to do is they want to incite people and then get it on video. Make it look like something other than what really is going on. In other words, that they are the primary instigators, but they want the victim, the person that they're targeting, to look like the instigator. Like, they're the ones who are the bully. They're the ones who are causing trouble. And so they can get ahead of them and, and scoop that and make it look to others like this person's crazy or this person's got issues, this person needs to be put in jail, this person needs to be put in a mental hospital, then in their own way, they're basically going about trying to destroy this person's life. And again, it becomes one worse, it's one person's story against another. And this is very treacherous. And it, it, it's almost very diabolical what they're doing, but you never know, right? Because there are all sorts of spirits out there in the world um, you know, lots of demonic spirits, uh, you know, lots of principality action going on. You know, sometimes people may have this, this sick spirit upon them and it is driving them. You know, maybe they wanted to put that spirit on somebody else. Maybe it backfired. Maybe now they're stuck with that spirit. And inevitably that spirit is, is, is now trying to uh, 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 bait them into doing terrible things to others. But when those plans fail, then maybe that person now becomes the one that people are thinking is crazy, or that person may have the issues. It can get very complicated uh, very quickly because, again, you know, you have these terrible things that are going on. And so it's at, it's at that point you realize as a person that you have to be very careful who you allow into your circle because you may allow a group of people that seem well-meaning at first into your circle and then you're you're hanging with them you're you're doing things with them and then you come to realize that these people are absolutely not the person you thought they were or people you thought they were and they absolutely mean you absolute harm they may either want to emotionally destroy you uh spiritually destroy you uh financially bankrupt you or possibly even make you sick or make you reach a point that either they may end your life or they may prompt you to end your life. And so all of this goes on, you know, with the cyber stalking and the cyber bullying, as well as the actual stalking and the actual bullying. And it can become a whirlwind of crazy activities that if people don't have the inside scoop of what's going on, they will never know and they won't understand. And the bullies will be the ones coming out smelling 
like a rose, while the people they target and traumatize are the ones that are made to look like they had serious issues. So take care of yourself, people. Take care of yourself. Always be wary of who you're dealing with. Don't find yourself isolated or alone with people you don't truly trust or understand because really, really terrible things can happen to you, and I wouldn't want to see that for you. Um, may the Most High God bless you, keep you healthy, safe, and protect you. Um, remember that God is out there, um, and we should surrender our burdens to God and, and turn our troubles over to God, and that God will always find a way for us, that God will help us, because God wants to see us all prosper. Even the evil people, but unfortunately, their hearts are hardened sometimes, and they may turn away from God altogether. All right, so if you're new here, uh, welcome aboard. It's a safe space. You're welcome. If you're returning, I am glad that you continue to support this channel. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. I want you to take care. Have a very good day. I love you. I love you. Signing off. Bye.